Hey guys, today I have a little makeup haul. I stopped over at Ulta yesterday because it's been a while since I've gone truly makeup shopping, especially at Ulta in person. I wanted to check it out because Charlotte Tilbury actually came to Ulta and my Ulta was advertising that they had Charlotte Tilbury. So I went to check out their display and then there were some drugstore products that I wanted to pick up. First and foremost, I have to say, at least at my Ulta, the Charlotte Tilbury stand was looking real nice. I was very, very happy with their display. So I picked up a couple of things that I didn't need from Charlotte Tilbury and amongst other things, of course. So let's start off with what I got from Charlotte Tilbury. We'll go by high-end brand and then more affordable brands, kind of in the nature of the setup of the store. So from Charlotte Tilbury, I picked up a new lip cheat that I didn't have. I think I've had this in the past. I must've ran out of it or lost it in a purse. That's a pretty common occurrence of mine. I picked up Hot Gossip and I feel like in the advertisements and the photo of the color, this looks like it's going to not be a wearable color, but it actually is quite wearable. If you're new to my channel, Charlotte Tilbury has probably my all-time favorite lip liner formula tied with one or two other formulas here. But in terms of longevity and a creamy application, this hits the mark in both ways. But it's slightly warm, but it's still neutral. So it's really wearable with a lot of different lip colors. Everybody always talks about Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude. But I feel like this is a really nice wearable. Why is my voice giving out? <clears throat> I feel like this is a really nice wearable color as well so i picked up that and then i picked up a couple new lipsticks that are classic shades that i didn't have in my collection so i've tried both of these before so here's a historic event that happened in my life when i first started my channel my mom and i had split the bill on purchasing a lot of charlotte tilbury lipsticks and then when i ended up moving to florida we split the collections one of us got half the colors my mom obviously got the other half so there was a lot of colors that i was missing from that main collection one of them was penelope pink and whenever i would visit my mom i would always <laughs> try this color because it's a really pretty nude shade and I love Charlotte Tilbury nudes like Nude Kate, Hepburn Honey. So this is in that family of Nude Kate and Hepburn Honey so I wanted to pick up one of my own. This name is pink but it's really like a warm shade that's very very nude. This with a dark brown lip liner is stunning and it's in the Kissing Formula which is one of my favorites. So I got Penelope Pink and then I also got one of the Matte Revolutions which her matte lipstick formula, I'm not as in love with as I am the kissing formula, but it's still a really nice thin matte formula. I got Very Victoria, which is really on par with the colors that I like. I feel like in the bullet, it looks pretty brown, but it is pretty sheer of a color, and it's actually quite wearable. It's a little bit more of like a muted mauve, some brown in there as well, another really great wearable color and it's a nice thin formulation so those are the two lipsticks that i picked up just up a couple lips from charlotte tilbury but you know what i think charlotte tilbury is really promoting that they're on ulta so they were really kind and they gave me two 100 gift cards so i thought i'd throw in a little giveaway for you guys we're gonna keep it nice and short for my early viewers all I need for you to do is comment down below one item on your Charlotte Tilbury wish list and most important, your email. I'm going to pick at the end of the day Friday two lucky winners. I'm not going to announce it or anything. I'm just going to email you the link. <laughs> so you will be getting an email from mturnermakeup at gmail.com. If it's anything other than that, it's a fake email, it's spam, don't click on the link. But I will comment back to you on this video and I'm going to say, hey, you won the giveaway, I'm emailing you right now. And I'm going to email you the link to the gift card and then a secret code. So again, if you get an email, it should only be from mturnermakeup at gmail.com. If it's anything else, don't click on that link, but I will comment back to you on this YouTube video at the end of the day, Friday. We're gonna do it quick and simple. Again, a reminder, comment one Charlotte Tilbury item that's on your wish list, and then your email for me so that I can get into contact with you. So there will be two winners, $100 gift card, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into the next items. 
Mac. I have been on a Mac kick. I've been loving the products that I've been picking up and I've also been purchasing products that were very viral, that are really nostalgic from back in the day, just shade names that I heard a lot of. The difference between then and now is I actually like have adult money to spend on it. So I'm kind of reliving my childhood dreams but actually having the money to purchase it. So I'm making 12 year old Morgan very very happy with these MAC purchases but I've been eyeing these mineralized blushes for MAC. They look beautiful and this is the shade Warm Soul which if I'm not mistaken was a very very popular shade. It has a little bit of a sheen to it but nothing that is unflattering to the face and it's just this nice warm pinky shade, a little bit coral, a little bit orange. It's neutral in a way and it can go with kind of whatever makeup look that you're wearing. I have it on today and I think it's so beautiful. It's gonna be a gorgeous color in the summer. It has a little bit of a gold shift in there that's really, really subtle. So if you're looking for a good wearable blush for this summer, I'm really liking this. It was easy to apply. It blended on really beautifully and it makes me want more shades of this formula because of the way that it applied, so. Shout out to MAC for this one. And then I'm also revamping my lip liner collection from them, which is very far and few between. I got a couple shades that I know a lot of people have, so I like to have the popular products because the chances are higher that you guys will be able to replicate looks. So I got the Lip Pencil in Strip Down. Now this one is a little bit more of a neutral brown. It's what I have around the edges of my lips. And then I also got Soar. This is one that I've never had before. And it is like a pinky shade. It's really beautiful. It adds definition to the lips, a little bit of a pop while still being wearable. And I really am liking the MAC lip liner formulas. It's a classic formula. It's drier, which I like because I feel like I have more precision when applying it and you can sharpen it. But it also does set down and have good longevity. I would say Charlotte Tilbury probably has longer longevity than the MAC, but the MAC is drier, so I think application is a little bit more precise. No, I mean, I've been enjoying my MAC lip liner, so I was excited to pick both of these up. The MAC counter is going to see a lot of me because I'm like in love with all of the products that I've been purchasing from them recently. Who would have known? But uh, 12 year old Morgan, I have made very, very happy. The next item that I picked up is from Tarte. I have been dying to try this formula, so finally I was able to get my hands on the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the Shimmer Finish. So I have a few couple finishes of this style of lipstick. They've really hammered it down that uh, they are going to play off the success of this and come out with every single finish. I think they recently came out with like a lip vinyl finish, which is supposed to be super high shine. I saw it in Sephora yesterday. I didn't pick one up. I'm kind of regretting it, but I've had my eye on the shimmer one. So I picked up the shade Rose Shimmer Glass. It's giving a little metallic on the lips, which I actually think is really pretty when done right with the correct lip liner underneath. A few years ago, I would have hated this, but it does have glitters in there, but it doesn't feel gritty on the lips and it gives that unique metallic finish to the lips. I'm liking this so far. I think it's really fun. It's not something that I would have been comfortable with in the past, but I don't know, it's something different and I'm interested in maybe another color or two because I'm having fun with that unique metallic finish. So the rose one, I went pretty wearable. I feel like there was a copper shade that was a little bit more glimmery that I have interest in next. If you've tried that lip vinyl, the new one that's super duper reflective and shiny, let me know what you think. Do I need to go back and pick that up? Okay, I hit up the e.l.f. section, which I think that they must have just recently stopped because e.l.f. I feel like is always torn to pieces and they never have any stock, but at my Ulta I was really happy and I picked up two new-ish items at this point. This launched kind of when I was in the thick of a move, so I couldn't purchase them quite when they came out. Uh, but I finally, you guys, got my hand on the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. And I was a fan of the original. Obviously, they're playing off of the IT Cosmetics. But they launched a hydrating one, which IT Cosmetics has as well, which I really, really liked. Uh, but I was really looking forward to this because I did like the original CC Cream from e.l.f. And this one is really nice. 
I need to do this side by side with the original because I really wasn't seeing too much of the hydration or the glowy factor to it. It's on my skin right now and it's giving pretty full coverage. Like I have a lot of coverage. You can still see some freckles underneath, but it's like a strong medium coverage. It's a thicker consistency, but I think the finish of my skin looks so pretty. Obviously, I cannot talk about wear time right now, but I think it looks nice, but it wasn't giving dewy. It wasn't giving hydrating. I'm going to have to do a side by side. I picked up the shade light 210N by the way, and this was a little hard to work out. I had to take a lot of time with blending. I felt like it was patchy and drying when I applied it with a brush, but when I took my time, I used my finger to spread and warm out the product, and then I used a damp sponge to work it into the skin. That was the best, most natural looking finish. It didn't emphasize any dryness. So you get what you pay for in terms of it's not going to blend itself out like the Louboutin foundation did, but that was like 10 times the price. So it took a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of experimentation to get the finish and application that I like. But now that it's all said and done and on my face, I mean, my makeup looks really nice. It looks a little drier on some parts. So I'm thinking I could have hydrated my skin a little bit better for this product in preparation for it. But I didn't know that was going to be necessary considering it is a hydrating CC cream. I just don't think it's as hydrating as you might think it is. But I'm going to have to play with this some more. Obviously, this is the first time that I'm messing with it. As always, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I do have a series on my channel called Speed Reviews where every single item from today's haul is going in my Speed Reviews drawer and it's not going into my main collection until I feature it again and use it multiple times in a Speed Reviews video. So after wearing this and doing all of the experimentations with this, I will give you a final update. But so far, it looks really pretty, but it was a little bit of work to get there. The other item, I don't even know when they launched this, but they launched this tiny cute little e.l.f. squeeze me lip balm. It looks like it's playing off the Laneige since e.l.f. fancies themselves a dupe brand now. But it felt really nice. I got mine in the shade or flavor strawberry. It has a nice strawberry scent and this is a good little item to keep in your purse. I'm thinking like this versus the Laneige. It's a little bit better to have this because I feel like I always lose items in my purse. This one hurts less to lose but it felt like it had good longevity. It was nice and hydrating but I can't speak on it because I haven't worn it more than once. But it's nice and tiny and cute and I'm liking it so far and everybody seems to be loving these glossy thick lip balms that sit on the lips and elf of course tried their hand at it nyx has really made a comeback i'm so happy for them because back in the day nyx was really popular and i do feel like they died out but tiktok was definitely the resurgence of nyx so they had a couple products that i've been wanting to try the first one i've seen so many people cover up their blemishes with the NYX Pro Fix stick. Now this is like a correcting stick. They have quite the range, a lot of correcting colors. The colors I thought were a bit weird. I ended up with the shade 05 Vanilla, which is more yellowy. It's definitely brightening on my under eyes. I do appreciate a good color corrector nowadays. I notice my eyes are getting blue here as I get a little bit older, as I get closer to my 30s. The formula itself is pretty thick. I tried blending it with my fingers and I felt like it was emphasizing dryness. I got the best application with this when I used my House Labs concealer brush over top and then spread it out that way. And it definitely brightened, it corrected. For the sake of this video, I didn't put any like skin tone color concealer over top. I wanted you guys to see it. Now what I will say is it does look pretty dry on the inner parts of my eye. I definitely, before I use this on the under eyes, will have to make sure I hydrate underneath with an eye cream. But I think what most people have been using it more so is a blemish coverage, which I feel like this is going to be a great spot concealer because it does have some nice coverage. And with the color correcting, it's going to act really well on co covering like the redness. Humble brag, I don't have a zit right now. So I couldn't test it in that way. That's why I did it on the under eyes. But I don't know that this is going to become my new under eye color corrector. It's a little bit dry and thick for me. But I mean, I can wait until my next set. But I can't wait to use this if and when.
definitely when I get my next zit. So this is definitely still on the table for discussion because I didn't get to use it to its full capabilities today. Uh, but it did a nice job covering and color correcting, but it's a bit dry and thick. Now I also tried one of these Duck Plump lips. I got, I got mine in the shade Nude Swing. Swings. It's a high pigment plumping gloss and it is highly painful. Like, it burns. My lips felt like they were on fire. Now when I applied this alone on my lips, I felt like it was a little bit patchy and the product was separating, which I didn't love. The application on this was better when I had a lip liner and a lipstick underneath to kind of keep everything even looking and then I put this over top. So I do have it over top of stripped down lip liner from MAC and then Very Victoria lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and then I have this on top so that's the prettiest application but I don't love it on its own because it seems to separate and doesn't really give even coverage but um she burns if you like the feeling of a burning lip gloss I think you might like this one and it feels pretty good on my lips now that it's been setting down I still feel a little bit of that like chilly sensation on my lips but it's not bad anymore yeah I mean it's a fine product I think more so what is special about this is how painful it is for the people that like to torture themselves the other one that I'm super surprised by Maybelline also launched a new version of their lifter gloss which is one of my favorite from the drugstore also in a plump so I guess these plumping lip glosses are super popular right now this one has chili pepper piment piment chili it's supposed to give you a super plump lip I got mine in the shade mauve bite which is a really pretty color now the problem is I swatched this after I swatched the duck plump and the duck plump definitely is more painful than the Maybelline so I can't really tell you how painful this is because my lips were still suffering from the duck plump so I'm going to have to keep you updated but overall this is a great pickup of a gloss in general just the lifter formulation from the drugstore I think they have the best colors this color is really pretty so I I can't speak too much on the plumping capabilities, which is kind of the whole point of this gloss, but I'm gonna keep you updated, but I'm excited to see. I like a plumping gloss. I don't necessarily know that they actually plump my lips, but it definitely tricks my brain with the burning sensation, and I quite like the burning sensation. The last product that I picked up from Ulta was a re-up. I've gone through probably 20 of these in my lifetime. This is one of my favorite curl creams. I always come back to this one, mostly because not only is it affordable, but it works just as good as my expensive ones that I still like. But this one is like, if I run out of my curl cream, I always go back to this one because it doesn't break the bank. Not your mother's defining curl talk cream. It's just my favorite for my waves. So whenever I get out of the shower, this is what I use 99% of the time. And they have a lot of amazing curly hair, wavy hair products. If you do have textured hair, I definitely recommend this brand. I mean, they're super affordable and they tend to work just as well as when I've tried to branch off for more expensive items to see if I was missing anything. With with Not Your Mother's, I really don't feel that way. There we have it, you guys. That is everything that I picked up on my most recent Ulta trip. When I lived in Miami, I didn't really go to Ulta that often because it was a pain in the butt to get there. Maybe the new suburban life I have will lead me to Ulta a lot more. Anyways, make sure you guys don't forget to enter my giveaway. There will be two winners to win a $100 gift card to Ulta. Just send through your email and a product that you have on your wish list from Charlotte Tilbury. And at my earliest convenience, I will email the winners. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Have a good one.